Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thought I'd get this one out of the fridge. I've had it for a little while. Uh, this is Pig Pounder Brewing, and they're out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Very unique shaped bottle on this one. Uh, this is a low ABV style. This is only a 4.8% alcohol by volume, 24 IBUs. And uh, doesn't have uh, a date or anything on it, so doing a, a beer of that small, nah, you know, it's sweating profusely since I got it out of the fridge. So there may be some digitized, digitized on the bottle, but I seriously doubt it. Uh, I actually picked this up at the Best Way Market down in Greensboro. Uh, I didn't actually go to the brewery or anything. Uh, that's another reason why I went ahead and got it out. Uh, if it had been a 7, 8, 9 percenter, I would probably left it in there for a little while longer. But since it's a low ABD beer, I thought I'd go ahead and get it out and uh, see what this one brings to the table. I've not had anything from these guys before. Even though they're in Greensboro, uh, they, I've not seen their beers here in Virginia. So I don't know how far out of Greensboro these guys go. So it says here that uh, the commercial description is, Lactose gives this milk stout body and balance a distinct mocha's character is derived from an imported specialty malt, smooth and rich. So we got the IBUs at 24 and the ABV at 4.8%. This is not a beer to seller since the ABV is that low. Uh, over to the food pairings for this style. Uh, since it's a stout, it says it goes well with your chocolate dishes. It's a dessert type beer. Any kind of chocolate brownies, chocolate cake, chocolate pie, chocolate cookies, any kind of chocolate this will pair well with, or like I said, after dinner, something like that for dessert. And they use lactose, and that means it's going to be a sweet stout, a milk sweet stout, so it's going to have a nice sweetness to it to, to, to pair well with those uh, desserts that you're going to have with it if you do. Uh, glass bar, pint, bacchanonic, tumbler, mug, stein, and sedale. I'm going to use a double glass for this one today, guys. Uh, and uh, not recommended for extended salad, like I said, since it is a low ABV beer. So let's see what we can get uh, from this. So, uh, very unique bottle, like I said. Uh, I don't think I've had any other beer in this type of bottle before. This is like a little mini growler. And it's got a uh, plastic seal around this cap. I didn't get a very, very big hiss, so I don't know how well carbonated it's going to be, guys. We're going to go right down the center to see what happens. I have to pour a little bit of a head. About a finger of head on that. Four. Definitely looks like a stout coming out. In this uh, particular glass, I'm not getting any kind of red rubiness around the outside of the glass. Of course, this glass does not blend well to seeing any kind of red light. Now, if I have put, poured it in the, uh, uh, the Sauvin beer glass, that might have had some red tinges in the small part of the glass down here. But, uh, without having a big hiss when I took that cap off, I'm actually surprised it poured that much in. I was kind of fearing it was going to be flat when I took the cap off. 
Looks like it's well carbonated. And I've had this one a couple of months, guys. So uh, hopefully it hasn't lost any of its flavor. Uh, didn't realize it was that low of ABV till I got it out of the fridge. I'm like, ooh, maybe I should have done this a month or two ago. But it is what it is. So let's see what we're going to bring to the table. Let's get a nose on it. Yeah, rich roasted malt. I'm definitely getting some sweetness on the back end there. Maybe some hint of some cocoa. It does smell kind of kind of light. Uh, I, I, I would say by putting the nose on it, as many stouts as I've had, you can tell it's a lower ABV stout. Not getting any alcohol. And that's about all I'm getting, guys. So let's see what we get on the taste. Cheers. A little hint of some metallic taste there. And that usually goes away as it warms up. Rich roasted cocoa. A little hint of some coffee in there. Some caramel and some toffee. And maybe as it warms up we're going to get a little slight hint of some uh, dark fruit in there. Very sessionable stout at, at, uh, four, at being a 4 percenter. Almost 5. 4.8. Maybe, I don't know if I've ever had a lawnmower style style. Just would, if you're into the darker beers and you want to have something, maybe for breakfast, for lunch, or, or go back to work, this would be the direction you would go in if you're into the the, uh, the stouts or, or even the porter, something with a little heavier roasted malt into it and not have that big 7, 8, 9, 10 or even bigger percentage and try to function after you've had that much alcohol. 4.8% is a session style, in my opinion. A little thinner on the mouthfeel, which you have to expect with a, a, a stout of this low ABV. The creamier stouts uh, usually are between the 6 and the 10 or bigger. When you get into the imperial stouts, a lot creamier mouthfeel which you would get on those beers. This reminds me very much maybe of an English stout. Low ABV, a little thinner mouthfeel, but still a lot of taste to go with that. It's very nice. It is very nice. I think it's maybe the first, one of the first or few uh, uh, stouts of less than 5% that I've reviewed. Usually, uh, I've, I've had porters and stuff, especially the English style, with that low of ABV, but an American stout, less than 5%, is kind of rare. And using the lactose they've used in this gives it a, a little more sweetness, uh, a little easier to drink, if you will, especially if you like a sweet stout. It's very tasty. So let's let it warm up and see where we end up with this one. Definitely enough in this big bottle to share. That's what I intend to do. Uh, there's a quart, so this is 32 ounces. Definitely enough to share. So, uh, let me step on this for a little while. I might fire up a cigar to go with it, and we'll come back and uh, after it warms up the room temperature and see where we end up with this one. Very unique. Uh, very close to be. Greensboro is only a couple hours uh, south on 220 here, and uh, uh, hopefully these guys will uh, be uh, heading this direction before too long. I don't know how big the brewery is, but... Uh, not seeing their stuff here in Virginia. So, let me sip on it, and I'll be right back, and we'll do the final chug on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it probably about 35, 40 minutes or so. Very nice session stout, if you will. The only problem I have with these, or this beer, or this brewery, they, uh, they put it in this nice big quart bottle, with like a mini growler, and uh, they've got the stick-on label in this part, the pig pounder part, It'll silk screen on the on the uh, on the bottle, and then they stuck this label on it to tell it what kind of beer it is, which is the Snout Stout. 
And then on the back it says visit our local family of restaurants. And they taken the time, somebody had to do this, and, and put this piece of tape over this label on the back. And I don't know why they've done that. Evidently they're not associated with these. It says the Marshall Free House. Uh, but Rager or Burger Burger Warfare and Daryl's and Vineyard Grill dessert bar. They've had somebody to, to take time to, to put that over top of that so you can't see it so I don't know why whether they're not associated with them anymore or whatever but the person that they are having do this didn't have time to write bottled on date and normally in a stout version uh, it's not that required I, I would like to see a month and a, and a year at least a year if not the month that way we know if it was done in January or done in December of 2014 or 2015 or whatever but somebody's taking the time to do this with no date this is a less than five percent stout so it's kind of critical to me that they have some kind of dating on it so you, you, you don't want to keep this beer for a year or two or three or five uh, it's a low ABV stout more like a session stout if you will so they've taken the time to do this but not taking the time to put a date on it so I've got a problem with that uh, it's a very nice session stout if you will 4.8 percent very tasty nice roasted cocoa and, and roasted malt uh, the metallic taste went away as it warmed up. Uh, I was uh, smoking on a uh, Drew Estates Undercrown with this. Uh, they paired very well together. Uh, but I have a problem with no dating on the bottle, especially a less than 5% beer, no matter whether it was a pale ale or a lager or a stout or whatever. We need to we need to have a date on it, guys. And, and they've taken the time to put the tape on it, but that person could have, put the uh, date on it just as easy while they were doing that so somebody's handling each one of these bottles to put that tape on there and they decided not to think it was important enough to put a date on it so got a little problem with that so let's do the final chug the carbonation is uh, slightly lower but you know being at 4.8 percent you kind of expected that and I didn't get any hiss by taking the, the, the cap off of it but it did pour a decent head so final chug Very nice, very well made beer for a 4.8%. Got a lot of stuff in there going on with the roasted malt and, and the chocolate and the cocoa. Maybe some hints of some dark fruit. Uh, very tasty, very nice representation of what I call a lawnmower style stout. Uh, something you could, uh, uh, of course you wouldn't want to drink all of this and I didn't. I, I shared it with the other half and she, she liked it but it does have a kind of a thin mouth feel for, for a stout being, and of course it's a low ABV stout on top of that, that's why. But it was tasty, it was very, very tasty. Just disappointed that uh, they took the time to put the tape on it guys and no date. And there is no date on it, we kind of need that for uh, a beer of this ABV. Even though it is a stout, you wouldn't want to sell her this beer. You'd want, to, you'd want to drink it in the first couple of months that it was put in there. And like I said, I, I picked it up in April. And then May, June, July, and I'm reviewing it here the first week of uh, uh, August. So uh, probably wouldn't want to keep it more than about three months. And uh, that's why I went ahead and got it out and reviewed it now. And it's, it is a tasty beer. I just And they're, I'm pretty sure they're a fairly small brewery. I don't know how long they've been in business. But they do several other different beers. And this is the only one that I picked up from them. So that is the only uh, downfall to what I have to say about the beer. It is a very tasty beer, very sessionable, if you will. And, and being a quart, it's enough to share. Uh, if, you, if you drink all of this, you might get a little bloated, but I don't think you're going to get drunk off of it. So, But anyway, uh, uh, going to Rate Beer and Beer Advocate, neither one of them, they have several uh, reviews. Uh, uh, Rate Beer Advocate has two and uh, Rate Beer has one, two, three, four, have four on there. So uh, more of an English style stout to me, guys, uh, with that low of an ABV, ABV beer. So wish they would uh, put a date on it.
So we're going to leave it at that. I'm not going to harp on it for a long time. Uh, it needs a day, guys. Uh, the guys down at, at uh, Pink Pounder. If you're going to take your time to have somebody put a piece of tape over this back label, you have time to have somebody write on the date so you'll know uh, when it was put in the bottom. So we're going to leave it at that. Like I said, no ratings from these guys. And for me, for what it is, which is a low ABV style, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it the 6, which is a B. Uh, I think it's an above average beer. It's very well made, very tasty, got a lot of stuff going on in it. Uh, a little on the thin side, a little on the watery side, but it's a lactose beer, nice and sweet. Uh, it's a very tasty beer. We just need to have those guys do some kind of dating on these beers so we know how long it's been in the bottle. And like I said, I picked it up in April. That doesn't mean it was done in April. It could have been done whenever. We have no idea. We have no clue. I don't know how often they do this beer. It says year-round, so they must do it all the time. So they need to date it. We need to have a month and a year, at least a year, and a month and a year would be even better. So uh, six for me, if it had a date on it, I'd probably give it to seven. I uh, don't think it's quite to an A category, but for what it is, it's very tasty. Glad I picked it up. First one I've had from these guys. Uh, next time to, uh, I go to uh, North Carolina, I might pick up uh, another uh, bottle or two of something different just to see. But I'm going to definitely check for dates. And if it doesn't have a date, and if it's an IPA, I'm going to leave it setting. I'm not going to pick it up. kind of need to know that. So if you've had this one, if you're in the Greensboro area and you've had something from Pig Pounder or especially this one, let me know what you think, guys. And as always, one back tomorrow. We're going to take that walk and see what's in the fridge. See you then.